Nowadays, there are so many Chinese that spend a lot of time on stocks and the fund. They try to invest. You know, you are being so successful as financial investors. Mm. So what do you suggest them to do? If they are successful, they should uh, continue. And if they lose money, they should stop. Uh, it's interesting, but uh, some studies show that there are many people who continue gambling in the stock market even though they always lose money. If um, investing becomes a gambling habit, uh, they should stop it. Uh, that's not very good. If you really stuck in a particular uh, line, you should be ready to switch. And when I was a young man, uh, I had several false, false starts in, in life. And uh, when I got very frustrated, I made a big, big change. And eventually, uh, I found the way to uh, get ahead. So when I succeeded, <coughs> kept on going. If I failed, then I changed course. But to test your ideas against reality is a very good thing. Right. Well, the uh, young people encounter a lot of challenges. They have a lot of thinking, they have a lot of dreams in their mind, and they want to be successful. Everyone would like to try the best. Mm -hmm. Do you think there's any short way to be successful? You know, some people are successful sooner than others. Uh, I can only speak from personal experience. When I was young, you know, I was thinking very hard, and uh, I had uh, a lot of passion and uh, interest in wanting to uh, achieve great things. And I couldn't translate that into practice. Uh, and that was very frustrating. Uh, and it took me a very long time, uh, actually, uh, to succeed. But now that I'm really now an old man, you know, I'm nearly 80 years old, I have actually uh, just more or less recently uh, fulfilled the dreams uh, that I had uh, uh, when I was an adolescent. And that is a, a source of great satisfaction mm. uh, to me. Mm -hmm. But it took a very long time mm. uh, to achieve it. The problem I had as a young man is that I didn't connect uh, with the world. I didn't have entry into the world. The world almost was uh, like a, uh, a closed door. And I was knocking on the door, but I didn't find the key uh, to open it. Mm. Uh, and that finding the key, that is what takes a lot of time and uh, of course the more experienced you become, uh, the more easy it becomes to open other doors. Right. Now, when <coughs> facing this kind of uncertainty, as you say, well, it's, it's, a, it's a critical to find the right key in order to open the door. But the problem is where you're going to find the key. This is a, a lot of uncertainty facing. So what can you um, suggest to Chinese young people when they are making their prediction for their life, for their, for example, job, opportunities, the business is doing, the life changes? There isn't a, a single way. You see, different people have different abilities, different interests. There was an ancient Greek philosopher who said, know yourself, and that's very good advice. Uh, it's not enough to understand the world. You also have to understand yourself, and that's the way forward. Well, the, um, recently in China, uh, they publish, Chinese publish, your recent um, lectures in the Budapest. Yes. Uh, basically, I sum up uh, my view of the world and, of, uh, of course, I particularly talk about the financial markets because that's where I have the most ex experience. And uh, the main uh, point is that our understanding of the world 
in which we live is inherently imp imperfect. Because the people who actually are participating in the world change the world by their thinking. And that is what creates the uncertainty that, that you have to uh, cope with. It's uh, like a, a, a game that you play, the rules of which uh, are to some extent uh, uh, changed by the way you play the game. So it's a very complicated game. And many people call you an investor's profit strategist. Mm -hmm. You are able to make very well ahead of time's projections. How are you able to do that? Well, you know, my prediction of the future is uh, uh, not uh, usually accurate. But I do try to anticipate. And I'm also uh, ready to correct uh, my expectations when reality uh, doesn't uh, fulfill uh, my expectations. So uh, I think it's important to realize that our understanding of reality uh, is always imperfect and inadequate. It can be improved, uh, but it can never be perfect. So. Uh, that way, um, you don't lose your way. You, you try to find your way because you are trying to anticipate the future, but <coughs> you know that if you get in the wrong direction, you then have to uh, change uh, a course. So you have to be always uh, critical of your own uh, beliefs. And at the same time, you must have some belief. And then uh, we know reading your books, your biographies, and actually you're applying your philosophies, your philosophical thinking and the beliefs that help you making good fortunes in the financial market. Can you suggest Chinese young people when they study the philosophy? I find that uh, um, young people in China are more interested in philosophy than, for instance, uh, people in America and uh, I'm very pleased about that because I am very interested in philosophy and in understanding how the world works and I find uh, a, a lot more interest and uh, similarity in that approach in China than actually in America. Uh, in, uh, people in America are very, very practical and they don't like uh, abstract mm -hmm. thought. Right. And yet, uh, abstract ideas have a very big influence right. on the world. And so it's important uh, to understand them. But what do you think Chinese uh, young people, what do you find their characteristic from other part? Even if they don't study philosophy, uh, people in China generally have a very high regard for philosophy and high regard for people who, who actually think about those things. And uh, uh, I like that attitude. And I've recently uh, given a series of uh, lectures where I explained my philosophy. Uh, and which is now uh, published in uh, Chinese and I'm very uh, happy about that and I hope actually that, that uh, instead of uh, uh, reading about me and uh, trying to figure out uh, you know how I make money in the stock market they would pay more attention uh, to my philosophy philosophy by itself will not get you very far uh, so you have to also engage in something uh, uh, practical. Uh, but uh, philosophy is something that is, I think, has to be your view of the world, which you have to establish uh, for yourself. I'm not a philosopher, but I have done a lot of thinking. Mm -hmm. And th that's what I consider philosophy. 
uh, trying to understand the world in which you live. I think in many ways Chinese students are very well situated because they are not sort of uh, uh, brought up with the prevailing theories in the West. So they have a more open mind. And actually, I find that they can understand or relate to my interpretation of financial markets better than say students who have been learning economics in American universities. Mm. In the last 25 years, both uh, economics as a theory and financial markets as in, in practice, in reality, have developed in the wrong uh, direction, which have led uh, to the financial crisis mm. that the world has just uh, suffered through. And then economic theory uh, went into a world of its own because they uh, tried to eliminate uncertainty and have a firm prediction of the future, uh, similar to how you can predict uh, the movement of the stars. So they tried to imitate uh, uh, the kind of predictions uh, that, let's say, uh, physics uh, can give you. Uh, and that was a false uh, track. Uh, they wanted to uh, reduce everything to uh, mathematical uh, 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 certainty. Uh, and there are uncertainties that can't be quantified. So they became very good in mathematical calculations, uh, but they forgot about reality. Right. So uh, um, in, in that respect, I think the Chinese financial system is behind uh, the Western in its development. But because it's behind, it's actually ahead because it hasn't uh, uh, fully uh, developed in the wrong direction. Okay, based on your understanding and so many times visiting China and understanding Chinese economic development, China economy has been um, undergoing opening up policy and development. China now is becoming a, a so-called rising, newly rising economic power star. So what do you think in China is going to happen? Near term, the outlook is very good because China has emerged almost untouched by the financial crisis and is therefore in a very strong uh, position. But longer term, the future of China depends on whether China accepts responsibility for dealing with the uh, problems of the world. That the world, generally speaking, is in trouble. Mm -hmm. You've got global warming, you've got a f a financial uh, turmoil, uh, you, you've got uh, uh, potential nuclear conflict and so on. Many, many big problems. And now China, which is emerging as a big power in the world, has to address these problems as well. China has many problems of its own, but now it has another problem. So the success brings additional burdens, mm. uh, and that's hard to accept. Uh, but uh, I think the future of China and the future of the world really de depends on whether China uh, 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 accepts this responsibility or not. Mr. Soros, um, based on your um, uh, successful life and successful career, there are many, many also uh, rich people in the world. So what do you think yourselves are different from other successful businessmen or investors? Well, I think that I am actually uh, uh, different from most uh, successful uh, businessmen in this respect, that having been successful, I am actually now more concerned with the stability of the markets, with the common interest, than I am with my own. 
Uh, in other words, I'm no longer trying to just make money. So you want to the world to become better, and more I, beautiful. I, yeah, that's right. Mm. And that is uh, one should be very suspicious about people who say that, <laughs> because it's very unnatural. Mm. You see, mm. uh, and uh, and uh, I, I don't say that I am holier than thou, uh, uh, because uh, as a market participant, of course, I'm interested in making money. But as a citizen, mm. uh, uh, as a human being, I am concerned uh, about uh, uh, about humanity, and uh, it's a very uh, big ambition. But I would like to make the world a better place, and uh, and that sets me apart from most uh, businessmen who put their personal interest or their business interest first and the interest of the world second. I've changed that around in my old age. Uh, so that is w w what makes me different and uh, that is something very, very, I would say, unusual mm. and also very suspicious because uh, most business or many businessmen, in order to further their own interests, they tell you that they are acting for the public interest. Okay, thank you so much. Pleasure.